Hello, today I'm going to be explaining question 16 from the UKMT Junior Maths Challenge 2018. So, for the number to be a multiple of 15, then it has to be a multiple of 3 and a multiple of 5, because 3 times 5 equals 15. So, to be a multiple of 5, the last digit has to either be a 0 or a 5. So, there are two possible values for Q, 0 or 5. Now, to be a multiple of 3, then all the digits added together must equal a multiple of 3. So the digits that we already have, 8, 6 and 9, add to 23. And so if Q was 0, then P could either be 1, 4 or 7 to make that a multiple of 3. Now if Q was 5, then P could be 2, 5 or 8 to make it a multiple of 3. So that means that there are two possible values for Q. And for each value of Q, there are three possible values of P. So the total number of pairs of digits of P and Q would be 3 times 2, which equals 6. So the answer is E, 6.